Thank you. Oh, good. Vanessa has Vanessa has weights. <laughs> then we'll have you guys use this. So you guys are doing that lunge warm up. So remember, five on each side. Get some weights. I'm gonna run upstairs and grab a mat. I'll be right back. Are you on ABC? Ours are totally off. Okay. Huh? Our TVs are totally off. Are you using off. the ball? No. no. Okay. Oh, Please, it's so oh. funny. Okay. You guys know each other, right? Brittany, Vanessa, Julie. Okay. All right, so I'll do a couple with you guys. I'm going to do one more on each side. Oh, it feels really good. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with um, Reverse Supermans, then dead bug abs, and then a good morning with the weight. So one weight is enough. If you want to use two, you can. Uh, we're going to do three rounds of that. Reverse Superman will be 15. Dead bug abs will be 20. And then the good mornings will be 15 on each side. Okay, I'm going to have to mute you guys. Uh, so muting all. Of course, if you ever have a question, um, you can just um, unmute yourself and ask me a question. But starting with the good mor uh, the good morning, the Superman, reverse Superman, really lightweight, nothing heavier than five pounds. Remember, chin down. It's squeeze, roll, and reach. Inhale on the down. Exhale as you lift. Here's some five pounds, Vanessa. Oh, you got it? Oh, you got it right? Two and a half? Yeah, that's perfect actually for you. I'm gonna put this right here. Or not. <laughs> it just kind of floated away. So you wanna, this is really to help you focus on activating those uh, upper back muscles. So kind of waking up that posture. What number are you on, Julie? Eight. Remember that lower body is nice and relaxed, so the feet are not coming off the ground. And one. Good. And then I'm going to flip over. So the dead bug abs can be done with or without weight. Um, if you're holding one dumbbell, then obviously both arms go back at the same time. If you're holding two, then just the opposite, whoops, <laughs> just the opposite arm and opposite leg go back. 20 reps. 
Lifting the torso and head is optional. Make sure when you go back, three, you focus on the arm and leg you're not supposed to be moving. Keep that knee of the leg you're not moving right up over your hip. Come down beyond, Julie. 11, that's what I thought. 20 of these, 10 on each side, alternating. Okay, and then when you're done with those, pick a weight uh, to hold with both hands. Single, uh, single leg, uh, good mornings, 15 on each leg. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Like, yeah, there's seven and a half right there. So remember, nice straight line. And when you stand up, please stand up all the way. So the last time we did these, we only did 10 on each side. So 15, it's kind of making it a little bit more challenging today. That standing leg, that knee is a little soft. I've got one more on that first leg. Good, and then switching to the other side. When you bend over, it's good to keep the eyes down so that you're not stressing out the neck. I'm on eight. I have five more. Huh? Yeah, I know, right? Twelve and a half is way too heavy. You're like, oh, I think I could do it. And she's holding seven and a half. She's like, yeah, no, I can barely do seven and a half. One, whoo, I'm gonna grab a sip of water before I start my next round. <clears throat> oh, stay hydrated. <sighs> okay, coming back to those reverse Supermans. <sighs> Palms are down, long in the neck, right? Eyes down. <clears throat> Squeeze those shoulder blades. Roll the thumbs up. And then lastly, almost like you're trying to reach for your feet. <sighs> exhale as you lift. And the exhale draws the abs in. I'm on 10. I've got one more. And one. Whew. I'm gonna flip over. Again, the, the idea of the dead bug is that the leg, in, the leg that is not moving, it doesn't rotate. It doesn't come in, it doesn't go out. It stays right where it is. 
Okay, 20 alternating sides. Think of time under tension. Spend a little extra time extending that arm and leg. Arms are over the shoulders, knees over the hips. Once you finish 20 of those, no rush. Coming back up to standing. And then I always like to start with the other lead leg just to switch things up. So I'll be standing on my left leg first. Fifteen on each side. I'm on six. <clears throat> I've got four more left. Keeping that standing knee a little soft. I'm on number six on my second leg. I've got five more. That was 15, Brittany? Okay. Speedy fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, 15. One more time. Three rounds. Uh, three rounds, three exercises. Okay. So maybe on this last round, think about like how can I challenge myself a little bit here? Maybe focusing on just drawing the stomach in as you lift. It's not like you have to make it harder, but focus more on exhaling and tightening your stomach. So start your set when you're ready. Yeah, so drawing the stomach in as you lift um, or keeping the lower body relaxed. It's not so much you have to make it harder, but focus more on what you're already doing. Eyes down. I've got four more. And then on the dead bug, like what change could you make to challenge yourself a little bit more? I bet you it's to go a little longer with the arm and the leg. 
right? Spend a little bit more time in the extension phase of the exercise. So you do want your back to stay on the floor as you extend the arm and the leg. What number, Brittany? 16? Okay. Ooh. Okay, a little cheat there. <laughs> I can feel myself moving that other leg a little. I started to get tired. Woo. Okay, last set. So in this one, I think uh, the, the challenge would be to truly extend the arm and the leg so that they're parallel to the floor. I think, so which means you're gonna have to just slow down a tiny bit. Okay, here we go, 15 on each side. I'm on seven on my first leg. And then switching to the last side, which is a good thing because my arms are getting tired. Because it's 15 on each leg, but 30 on the arms. Or at this point, 60, no, 90. But you know, who's counting? <laughs> I've got five more. Woo. One. All right. Finish it up or grab some water if you're already finished. <sighs> okay. So you're gonna need a rubber band for the banded walks with the jump. And then we're gonna do um, the single legged lunge with the overhead press, but with a little bit of a change today. So you, um, you're actually gonna, you're gonna come here and then here, tap and then back. Okay, so you're gonna cross behind and then back. So single legged deadlift, overhead press, touch and press again, okay? A lot of shoulders today, so I would go light. And then you're gonna do single legged rows like we did um, last week, right? here, so you wanna go heavy on that. And then that will be it on that one. And then we'll do three and three, so same as before. So grab your rubber band, okay? You need space to walk one, two, three, jump with a pause, and then one, two, three, jump with a pause. 10 
One, there and back is one, so 10 total. So go ahead and do those. Mid-calf, it's mid-calf. Rubber band is mid-calf, guys. Mid-calf. I gotta find a rubber band. Remember, you want your feet to be straight ahead, right? Knees are slightly turned out over the pinky toes. Whew, this one's a little, this band's a little slippery. Or it's actually in my pants, actually. Pull my pants up. There we go. What number are you guys on? You don't know? <laughs> I still see Kathy moving across the room, so I think she's got a couple more left. And so is Stormy. Oh, oh my gosh, this band is really hard. Brand new out of the bag. Okay, I'm going to count it. That's it. You know what? I changed my mind on the single leg lunge. We're not going to do that extra turn. We're just going to keep it like before. I'm going to add that in later. Okay, so <clears throat> single legged lunge, one dumbbell for overhead press. So you choose 15 reps, okay? I'm going to start with my left foot forward. So my left foot is forward. I've got the dumbbell in my right hand. Single legged lunge or deadlift, sorry, deadlift. And then reverse lunge overhead press. Okay, 15 on each side. You don't have to touch your knee to the ground if you don't want to. Yeah, good, nice and long, that looks good. I'm on 10. Okay, and I'm switching to the other side. If you're not there yet or you're already there, no big deal. Everybody moves a little differently. So like for me on this side, I move a little slower because of that left knee. And that's why I'm on the mat. <laughs> I'm on eight on my second side. One more I got. Oh my goodness. Yeah, ouch. Okay, so that was the right leg forward. So if you guys want, you can also grab a kettlebell if we don't have anything heavy enough for you. 
Okay, so right leg was forward. So now I'm gonna put the dumbbell or dumbbells, kettlebell, whatever it is, in my right hand, my left leg is forward. Okay, you guys ready? All right, anytime you're ready. You got it? Well, go grab a kettlebell. Come on, I got people waiting. <laughs> All right, 15 reps, you guys. <laughs> Jeez. Make sure you squeeze for a little stretch and squeeze. Six, hips are square. So that back leg isn't turned out like that, right? It's turned to the ground. I'm on 12. Careful, don't knock that over because that will, that hurts. It falls on you. Yeah, good, that looks good. I'm like, I have five more left. And one. Yeah, all right. Grab a sip of water. How you guys doing? Good? Okay, grab a sip of water. Grab that rubber band again. Remember, it goes around mid-calf. Mid-calf. And I really want you to stick that jump. Right, don't fall back into the other side. So stick that jump. Keep tension on the band. Feet on 12. Make sure you count your reps this time. Just <laughs> 10 in each, or 10 one way, 10 the other. So three steps, that's so one, two, three, jump. And then one, two, Three, jump. Two, three, jump. Remember, not a, not a lot of upper body movement, right? Keep everything nice and quiet. Whoo, band is burning. Jump. Whoop. How many more you got, Julie? You're on seven? Okay, good. I'm like, God, what number am I on? I think it's seven. Whew. Oh, that's good. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right, the single legged lunge, uh, deadlift with a lunge. This time we're going to start with our right leg forward. So right leg is forward, dumbbell in your left hand. Okay, so single legged deadlift, and then lunge, overhead press. Number 15 on each side. Make sure that back leg is getting up parallel to the floor. Yeah. 
Hey, you guys look pretty good. Oh, nice job, Jono. I'm on 14 on my first side. 15. Whew. Okay. Switching to the other side. Left foot forward, dumbbell in your right hand. That's such a huge difference for me <laughs> from one leg to the other. Uh, it's not like my knee hurts, it's just weak. Yeah, you wanna extend that arm up as you're dropping that right knee. So as the knee goes down, the arm goes up. How many is that, eight or nine, Julie? Nine, nine. this is nine? Yeah. So we're on 12, three more to go. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, that fatigue starts to set in. That balance is challenged. And one. Okay, so since my left leg was forward, <laughs> I'm gonna put my weight or weights in my left hand, in my left hand, so that my right leg is forward. <sighs> Here we go. Take your time. Squeeze that lat. Your elbow, when you row up, should be pulling slightly to the back, not out to the side. Okay, that's really important. Almost like you're trying to pull your elbow back toward your spine. <clears throat> You're sweating? Oh, stop that. That's disgusting. And then when you get to do that side, ouch, 15 to the other side. And then when you're trying to hold two weights here, when you're done with that, grab a sip of water. Okay, I'll turn the fan on in a second. Five, what? No, Brittany says pulling it toward your spine makes it harder. Imagine that. No way. Ugh. Have to write that down. Ugh. I've got five still. Ugh. One. All right, water. Let me turn the fan on. Because Julie's sweating. Can't have that now, can we? There we go. Okay. All right, last time on the rubber band. I hate this rubber band. I think Brittany and I should change. Here, give me the easy one. You can have the hard one. You're younger. <laughs> You're younger, you can do the harder one. <laughs> All right, same thing. Three steps, one leap. 10 times. Enjoy, Brittany. Oh my God, this is so easy. <laughs> oh my, this is like too easy now. The, the green one is like, it's like it's not even on there. <laughs> I know, that's why she was going so fast. Make sure your feet are straight. Straight, there you go. Oops, I forgot to leap. <sighs> Remember, keep those knees slightly bent, right? And then that land. Yeah, don't move that upper body too much. So when you land, don't move your upper body. Stay nice and square. How are you doing back there, Brittany? <laughs> what number are you on? Eight, okay, feet straight, honey, feet straight. 
Yeah, that's important. Feet straight, guys. Woo. Yep. Ugh. Ow, still hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can take the rubber band completely off. You're not gonna use it. I'm tying my shoelaces. Okay. All right, last set of single-legged deadlift with the lunge. We'll start with the uh, left foot forward. We got seven and a half up here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so left foot forward, right foot back, dumbbell in your right hand. Here we go, 15 reps if you haven't already started. You should get that leg all the way up, Stormy. I'm on 10. Oh, it's burning. Yes. Okay. Last side, thank God. <laughs> this is really hard. Okay. <clears throat> nice straight back. Abs drawn in, right? I have five more left. Again, like I said, I'm a little slower on this side. I have one more left and one. Okay, since my right leg was forward, I'm gonna put the dumbbell or the weight in my right hand. My left foot is forward. Again, make sure that that right hip is turned all the way down. So just up on the ball of that right foot and then pulling that elbow toward the center of your back, keeping it close to you, 15 reps. I've got five more. They bent over. Oh. Whew. You are sweating. Oh my gosh, look at you. You poor thing. <laughs> Think of time under tension. Squeeze, spend a little bit more time pulling up and squeezing. Mm. 
Grab some water. Three, whoop, if you're done. One. Hey, yay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, we haven't used a stability ball yet today, but um, we're about to use it. So we're gonna use the wall squat with the scapulation. So remember, when you go to squat down, you're not like this, right? You wanna pull those shoulder blades back. And we're gonna do it like we did last week, five by five. Five reps, hold for five counts, four rounds. And then from there, um, kind of taking things down a little bit. We don't have a lot of time, um, but I wanna do this one where we're in this uh, uh, plank or this quadruped position and we're, we're doing that rear delt. Again, I don't know if you figured it out, but the theme for today is shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. And then from there, we'll do um, obliques, okay, on each side. So grab your light set of weights, find yourself your wall. Stability ball is up against your sacrum. Feet, yeah, we got three of them. Here you go. Feet are wider than hips, maybe a little wider than shoulders. You can use that one. Oh, what are you looking for? Seven and a half? Yeah, I would use the fives, honestly, yeah. <laughs> she's looking at Brittany and she's like, Brittany has a five, maybe I should grab five. <laughs> All right, you ready back there, Vanessa? All right, you guys ready? Going down and up for five, here we go. One and then up, slow it down, two, and then up, slow. Squeeze down three and then up, and then four and then up, and hold for five, Four, three, two, one. Good. That was one. Here we go. One. You should see Julie's face and up. And two. And up. And three. And up. Make sure you're getting 90 in the knee. Four. And up. And hold. Five. Four. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Three, two, and stand. Two down, two to go. Here we go. One. And up. And two and up and three and up and four and up and hold five four three two three one more here we go one and up and two and up 90 in the knee three and up come on julie you got this and four and up and last one Five, four, three, two, and recover. <laughs> Her shoulders, owie. Okay, so that was an anterior lift. So now we're gonna do a lateral lift. So you're gonna go ahead and come to your mat, grab a lightweight, you just need one, like a five or, or three even. I wouldn't go 10, seven and a half, I would be really cautious. Now when you lift that arm, take a look up here, you wanna make sure that your, your arm is not in front of you. It's almost like you're, you're rolling a little bit of a thumbs up again. Very similar to the uh, Superman, the reverse Superman. But why the leg off the ground, right? Because if I pick this other leg up, if I cheat with this arm, I'll fall over. So that's why this leg is up, okay? So my hand is, my left hand is under my shoulder, my right knee is under my hip, right? Just like dead bug. Okay, I've got the weight in my hand. By the way, my arm is way out here. Don't bring it underneath. It's way out here. Eyes down, and you're going to lift it up 15 times. If you need a break, you can touch it to the ground. Three, otherwise it stays off the ground. It should not be in your neck and shoulder at all. Slow it down, Jill. Jill, slow it down. Pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. Don't throw it up in the air, guys. Slow it down. Yeah, Kathy, that looks good. Just bring your arms slightly back toward your foot a little. It's too far forward to your head. Yes, there you go. Yeah, see, just a little. So it's straight out from your shoulder. Yeah, 15 on each side. No rush. Slower is better. Okay. 
All right, when you're done on that side, the right hand is under your shoulder, not in front of you. Left knee right under your hip. Right leg is out. So you'll notice when you start to get tired, you'll start to lose your balance. You gotta think about a little bit more core. Slowing the weight down a little. Okay, how are you doing back there, Vanessa? Good, okay. <laughs> She's like all the way in the back. I forget about her. Some, sometimes I see like some movement back there. I'm like, oh wait, Vanessa's still here. Okay, so we're gonna start on our right side. Are you done, Julie? Okay, so starting on your right side. So shoulder issues, right knee is, ouch, right knee is bent. Okay, shoulder issues, either one, right knee is bent. Otherwise, legs are straight, right? You're gonna come, Wait, sorry, come up and touch. No, what am I doing? Hold on, I got it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 15 on each side. For that bottom foot is flexed. Oh, I can feel the work, the oblique work from Tuesday. Barely touching that mat with the hip. Well, I know Julie's alive because she's making lots of noises, <laughs> even though I can't see you. All right, other side. Again, you guys know I'm picky. If you bent your knee on the other side, you have to bend it on this side too. Here we go. 15 on this side. <sighs> I'm on eight. Oh my gosh. And 15. Whew. Okay. Okay, if we hurry up, we can get in three sets. Yay. <laughs> All right, back on the wall, back on the wall. You guys, when I say on uh, 90 degrees in the knee, make sure that when you get 90 in your knee, your feet, you walk your feet out a little bit so your knees are over your ankles. Okay. You ready, Julie? She's, I think she's praying. Okay, ready, here we go, going down. One, and back up, and two, and up. And three, four, and up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Good, Jono. Here we go. One, and up. Two, three. Good, you guys look really good. Four, one more. Five, four, three, two, two. Stay there for a second, stay. Make sure when you go down, you squeeze those shoulder blades. Okay, here we go. Going down one. No, I didn't want you to hold that. That would be so mean. Two, no, I would not do that. Actually, that's a good idea. Three, <laughs> four, one more. Holding five, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Four, three, there you go. Two, one, and up. Last one, here we go, last one. One, and up. Eyes up, two, good, 90 in the knee. Three, four, let me see it, Jono. And hold, five, four, three, two, relax. <laughs> oh my God, it's so mean. She's so mean to us. <laughs> Give me your little weight here. <laughs> Where? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the weight in our left hand this time. I'm gonna face this way just so you guys kind of get a different view. I got my hand on my shoulder. My right leg is out. Left knee is down. Left arm is out with the weight. Here we go. Fif Whoa, 15 reps. Ah! Ah! 
Arm is long, eyes are down. I've got five more. One. Whew. Love that. Again, if you're feeling it in your traps or your neck, that arm just has to come back toward your hip. It's too far forward toward your head. That's probably make that slight change and that should, that should get rid of that. If it doesn't, then just put the weight down. Don't do any weight. God, it feels so different. My right arm feels so much stronger. I've got five more. Oh my gosh. One. Whew. That gets heavy fast. Whew. Give me all the shoulders we did already. That might be it. Yeah. Okay. On the left side. Same thing. Either your knee is bottom knee is bent on both sides or it's straight on both sides. Elbow under the shoulder, right? So not sticking out like that. Nice and big when you're up. Barely tap that hip. I have five. One. Whew. Okay. Spin around to the other side when you're ready. Super straight leg, flexing that bottom foot. When you're down, your elbow and knee touch each other. When you're up, you borrow the top of your body or the left side of your body. I've got five more. Whoop, falling over five. One. Oh, plenty of time for one more round. Three and three. Here we go. On your wall. Find your wall. Maybe you're having a hot flash. <laughs> Maybe you're having a hot flash. How old are you? You're not that old. You're 35? That's it? Oh my God, she's like a baby. Shut up. Did you just, you would be quiet. Did you hear she said I could be her mom? I could be your mom, I guess. That's gross. That is gross. Okay, enough of that. Here we go. Ready? Going down. Down and up for five and come up. Oh my God. Four and up and three. See what you guys are missing with not being here? Two <laughs> and hold. Five, four, three, two and up. Okay, that's one. Here we go. Going down. Five and up and four and up. I mean, Brittany could be my kid. Three and up because she's young enough. Two, but 35, that's gross. And five, four, three, two. Two and up, one and up, and two and up, and three. Vanessa's back there just minding her own business. Four <laughs> and hold, five, four, get down there. Three, two, one, one more, here we go, last set. Five and up, and four and up, and three and up, and two, let me see it, Jono. Last one, hold five, four, three, two, done with that craziness. Okay, lateral lift. Give me a little five pound weight. We're gonna, 
<laughs> you can't use two and a half. <laughs> okay, how you set yourself up is important, important, right? Hand under the shoulder, not in the front. Knee under the hip, left leg out, right hand has the weight, chin down. 15 reps. Two, a good challenge here would be to turn your left hip down slightly. Whoa, five, almost fell over. And of course, slowing it down a little bit, right? I have five more. My arm is shaking, both of them. One. Whew. Okay, last set on this. Right leg out. Here we go. Weight is in your left hand. As soon as I start moving, I'm gonna just, whoa, turn my right hip down slightly, but then your right leg should still come up, right? Slow down the movement a little. I have five more. One, I know, right? Whew. Okay, so starting on your right side, even though your right hand was on the ground, it was your left arm doing all the work. So finishing this up. <sighs> okay. 15, elbow to knee. I have five more left. <laughs> oh, and one. Whew. Okay, one more side. One more side. I have five more left. One. Oh my gosh. I know, look at you, you're dripping all over the place. It's gross, gross. Okay, they crawl over to you guys. Oh my God, <laughs> my arms are shaking. Ah. Woo. Everybody good? Mm. Yeah? Yeah, that was a that good was one. Good. Woo. That was that good. Was hard. <laughs> okay, so here's a promise for next week. So next week is none of the exercises we've done over the past couple weeks. Everything brand new. Cool. All brand new stuff. Like nice. stuff the lateral lunges, we haven't done those in a while. Um, so a lot of new stuff next week, okay? So hopefully I'll cool. see you guys next week. <laughs> John is giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> he can't talk. He just <laughs> he can't talk. He just he's like yeah. Now he always giving me double thumbs up. Oh. Um, all right, you guys have a great weekend. Thank um, you. You I'll too. See Thank you. you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you. That sufficiently sucked. <laughs> <laughs>